want to give you some examples of some personal injury cases that I have done. Um, I had a personal injury case where um, I had an elder, elderly gentleman that was fired as an assistant superintendent of a school system and uh, essentially he alleged that he was fired because of his age. And so this was a uh, personal injury that was that he was alleging that was done to him because of violation of the Civil Rights Act of uh, essentially um, uh, using age as a reason for termination of a person from, from their employment. Uh, I had a case where um, a girl was raped in her apartment and uh, the issue was for this was for this woman was that um, the apartment wasn't constructed in such a way that that it could be secure. And it was located in a neighborhood that was uh, not a very nice neighborhood and uh, they didn't have proper latches on the doors or on the windows and she alleged that again there was a violation of the the obligation of the owners of the apartment complex to her to provide a safe environment in her own home. Um, I had a personal injury case of a lady that slipped and fell at a Save Mart and uh, sustained a hip injury, a severe hip injury, and that was not my concern as a psychologist, but the accompanying psychological distress and depression and anxiety uh, that went with her being disabled after that point uh, was a concern, and so I did an evaluation with that case. Uh, I had a, a, a project liability case where I had a child that lost their eye uh, due to a toy that malfunctioned. Um, I had another product liability case where a guy was working in a factory and was exposed to chemicals and uh, these chemicals basically were toxic and led to uh, uh, a lot of different kinds of physical problems and again that was not my my role to evaluate the legitimacy of those physical problems. It was my role to evaluate the psychological uh, uh, accompany, uh, injury that accompanied uh, his loss of of uh, some of his uh, uh, health because of uh, the chemicals. Um, there was a mugging in a parking lot where the person was very much traumatized and again the issue was there was a parking lot that there was not proper lighting and it was a large corporation that had this parking lot and so if they were going to op operate a parking lot and charge uh, the issue for the, the court was uh, you know should they have provided a safer kind of environment and my role again was not to evaluate those facts so much as it was to establish that this person actually had suffered a psychological injury due to the trauma of being mugged in that parking lot. I've had many cases of sexual harassment and if we have time we'll talk more about sexual harassment later on but uh, again here's the obligation of the company or the corporation to their employees to provide a safe environment and to have their employees being sexually harassed by supervisors of course is a violation of that again duty and uh, my role again was not to establish that duty or talk about that it was to establish that the person actually was suffering PTSD uh, these symptoms. I had several cases of wrongful, uh, wrongful termination due to gender discrimination. I had a very interesting case of a person that had a prior diagnosis of claustrophobia who uh, found himself unfortunately stuck twice in an elevator in an apartment building. And uh, so the, uh, the situation for the court was uh, you know was the, uh, uh, the owner of the apartment building negligent and providing some sort of safe environment uh, uh, and safe elevator systems uh, for this person. And uh, this last case illustrates uh, a, a very important concept in personal injury and that is uh, the injury that's being alleged does not necessarily have to be a new injury. In fact, uh, <clears throat> in personal injury cases always the issue uh, is, is present of whether uh, the eggshell rule has been violated. And the eggshell rule is that, that basically like an egg, uh, um, an egg can be cracked, an egg can be very fragile because of pre-existing conditions, because of, of, of uh, situations that have happened in a person's life previously. And uh, the eggshell rule does apply in personal injury in that if a trauma occurs that makes a situation that was dormant uh, or in remission uh, become uh, um, active, 
then that's a cause of a personal injury claim as well. And so it doesn't have to be a new psychological harm. It can be a psychological harm that results from a previous a, a, a condition being exacerbated or made worse. Uh, and that also would, uh, uh, you know, does, uh, does satisfy the requirements of, of, of tort compensation. 